guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have a bookish video for you. It is kind of my haul books I've acquired, bought since the last haul. I don't really do like monthly hauls. I get well, hmm. I guess this is like January, February, maybe a little bit in the end of December, but I think I did one after December. I don't remember. Anyways, so these are just books I've acquired, bought since the last book haul. It's a lot. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, it's 13 books. Um, I don't know how I keep buying so many books, but borderline not complaining. I just... I don't have any more room left on my bookshelf, which is why I need to get that beautiful floor to ceiling bookshelf I keep asking Don for. Yeah. Alright, anyways, if you are new, make sure you subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. It's down below. It's red. You can't miss it. Um, make sure you hit your post notifications because... YouTube is wonky. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Saturday. Sometimes I do extra bonus videos. Sometimes I just get in a slump and have not uploaded in a while. It happens. I'm not perfect. So make sure you hit that post notification so that you know. Also, just a disclaimer, not wearing any makeup today. Um, will not be wearing makeup for the rest of the week due to the fact that as I'm filming, my baby brother gets married next week and I'm in the wedding, so I wanted to make sure that my face was clear and it could breathe this week and it was would be flawless for the wedding. Um, so yeah, alright, let's get on with the book haul. Like I said, there's a lot. I'm not going to really... I'm not going to go through some synopsis. I think there's quite a bit of books in here that I'm sure people have already read. Um, I say this all the time. I'm the last person ever to read, like, the big books. Just because part of me is like, I don't really want to give in to the hype. Um, so... I figure you don't really need a lot of synopsises. If you want a synopsis or if you want me to kind of like review it, what I thought about it after I read it, let me know in the comments down below. Um, you can also watch a lot of my vlogs. I do tend to talk about like as I'm reading the book. So a lot of the stuff you can see there as well. All right. So let's get started with the book haul. So the first book is the one I'm actually currently reading right now. I'm almost done with it. I actually think I'm going to finish it tonight. And that is The Nirvana Threads by Rachel Tremblay. Tremblay? Tremblay, I think. Um, this book is gorgeous. It's a tiny, tiny, tiny book. Um, I think it's only 145 pages. Yeah, I believe it's 145 pages, and it's really cool because it has a kind of, uh, what's it called? A graphic novel? Yeah, kind of like a graphic novel in the back. Yes. Um, so this has been really nice to read. I like it. It takes place in the 90s. Who doesn't like the 90s? Am I right? So make sure you pick up this book. It's been wonderful. Uh, next, I bought this book uh, because I am very soon getting my very first unplugged book box, and a lot of the stuff that have to do in that book uh, comes from this book right here, and that is The Dark Descent of Elizabeth Frankenstein by Kristen, Kirsten White. Uh, I'm totally excited to read this book. She wrote Slayer, which I loved. I haven't done a video on that yet. Let me know if you guys want a video on Slayer. I loved Slayer. I know a lot of people's opinions are kind of all over the place, but if you want my take on Slayer, let me know. Uh, so I'm really excited to read this. I want to get it read before my Bonjour Jolie, or Bonjour Jolie, 
I just filmed the Bourgeois Jolie box. That's why it's in my head. Unplugged book box uh, comes because there's something in there that has to do with this book. So I want to know what it's about. I'm also actually currently reading uh, also on top of the Nirvana threads. I'm reading Children of Blood and Bone. Um because that also has something in the Unplugged Book box that has to do with that, so really excited for that. Next, we have Down With The Shine by Katie Curis Quinn. I love this cover. It's so spooky and ominous. In the back, it says, may all your wishes come true, or at least just this one. Um, this is kind of a... What did it say? It was like a, I don't know, I don't know, it's kind of, I think it's a creepier kind of book. There's a lot of um, uh, elements of like magic and stuff like that, so excited to read this. On top of that, I have finally bought the final book in the Dreamland series by E.J. Mello. This is The Destined. I... <laughs> I hesitated to buy this final book because I loved the story so much I didn't want it to end. And I actually read the second... Is it the second book? Yeah, the second book I read like two years ago because I didn't want it to end. So now that I've waited this long, I'm gonna have to reread the whole series. And actually, in my TBR jar, I have in there read the whole Dreamland series. So, this could be a TBR pick someday. You're gonna have to stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, it's a really cool kind of sci-fi, um, magical type of story. But it's like, there's like a love story kind of intertwined into it. It's, it's, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. I like it. If you haven't heard of it before, I highly recommend the series. I just hope this this last book delivers, because, you know. Um, next on here is a chunker of a book. This is Sleeping Beauties by Stephen King and Owen King. I'm obsessed right now with Stephen King. I'm extremely obsessed. There's two other Stephen King books in this pile. Uh, if you've watched this channel before, you know every year I try to read a Stephen King book. Um, last year it was The Stand. Two years ago it was It. I have another book that I'm going to be reading this year that I've already set out and ready to dive into. Um, it's also in this pile, so stay tuned for that. But this one seems like it's awesome. I mean, it's Stephen King and his son Owen King writing together a book. I, I can't imagine that this is going to be bad. I could be wrong, but Stephen King and Owen King together, father and son. Excited. Uh, next we have a contemporary. I believe this is the only real contemporary in this pile. Think so. Um, and that is Starry Eyes by Jen Bennett. I've heard a couple people talk about this book. Um, really, honestly, like I love a contemporary in the summertime, and uh, this cover just kind of looks like summer to me. I'm probably gonna save it for the summertime. That's all I have to say about this, which is probably a cheesy contemporary that I'm excited about. Next is the Stephen King book I was talking about that I'm going to read for this year. I'm so excited. The movie comes out. I don't know when. I haven't even looked it up yet, but this is my Stephen King choice for this year, and it is Pet Cemetery. I'm so excited. Part of me, though, is, like, not excited because it has to do with dead animals. And if, 
you know me, especially since there's a cat on the cover, I'm a crazy cat lady. So this book might be hard for me to read, might be hard for me to get through. I don't really know anything about Pet Cemetery, to be honest. Um, I know it's one of his like really like profound works. Uh, everyone really knows about it. Oh God. Yeah, and as I'm reading, as I'm reading the blurbs in the back, the most frightening novel Stephen King has ever written. Wild, powerful, disturbing, a stunner. King gets you to believe the unbelievable. So this is probably gonna give me nightmares. Let's be honest. All right, and then we have one more Stephen King book, I think, in this pile. Yeah, one more Stephen King book um, that I'm kind of excited about. This is Apt Pupil by Stephen King. Um, I don't know, again, too much about this. I feel like Stephen King has so many books, like, so many. How does somebody bust out tons of books? I, like... I went to Barnes & Noble, was it last week or two weeks ago? It might have been two weeks ago, and I went and looked at the Stephen King books, and I was like, there's so many Stephen King books. That's insane. Like, crazy. Um, so I picked this one up, actually, at Target. Um, again, don't know too much about it. I think it's about um, a kid who is, like, really good at school and stuff, and then... He meets this guy and he kind of changes his whole perspective on, I don't know, life or whatever. Um, but the guy that he's learning from is not a very good guy, I would imagine. Seeing as the picture, he must be a Nazi or, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. I could be wrong. Uh, so excited to have that Stephen King book. Next, this is kind of a, I know this is a children's book, but literally this brought my childhood. This, this was like kind of my childhood growing up and I'm so excited. It's a new Netflix series that I've already started watching. I haven't finished, but it's Who in the World is Carmen Sandiego. It's a Netflix series now. I'm I loved Carmen Sandiego when I was growing up. Loved Carmen Sandiego. And so I couldn't say no to this. Um, like, does everybody remember the game? There was the TV show, but then there was like a game too. Does anyone remember that? Hopefully not just me. But, I'm, I mean, it's Carmen Sandiego. There's not much more I can say except for it's Carmen Sandiego. And I needed it in my life. Next we have uh, The Strange True Tale of Frankenstein's creator, Mary Shelley. This is pretty much just a um, biography of Mary Shelley. I wanted to try and read this before I read The Dark Descent of Frankenstein. I also do have a copy of Frankenstein. But at the same time, I'm like, I really want to need to read The Dark Descent of uh, 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 why can't I, why can't I never read Elizabeth Frankenstein? <laughs> I need to read that before that box comes. Um, but this is, this is just really cool. I'm, I'm really interested in Mary Shelley's story. Um, I mean, you have science fiction because of Mary Shelley. Really, honest to God, you, you have science fiction because of Mary Shelley. So, I need to pay homage and respect to Mary Shelley. And I want to read that. Next, we have uh, a book I've already read, but I had it on Kindle. I never had a hard copy of it. Um, and that is Catcher by Kaylin Nicholson. Kaylin is a YouTuber. She's one of my favorite YouTubers. I just adore her. Um, this book absolutely blew me away when I read it. I thought at first, you know, you think you're like, oh, um, you know, it's a YouTuber trying to make a book, but seriously, this story is, it, it's so awesome. I love it. I needed a hard copy. This is book one. 
and I, I'm pretty sure she's currently writing book two. This is, like, honestly, you need to go check out her channel. You need to check out her book. I loved it. I love it. If you want a review on this, if you want me to go more in-depth on Catcher, let me know. I'm definitely going to reread this again now that I have it, like, in my hands. I love it. Give this book a chance. It's, it's it's fantastic. Okay, and then the final two books I have are actually two books in one series. Um, ooh, oh, I just moved you. I'm sorry. Um, and that is Ash Princess and Lady Smoke by Laura Sebastian, I think. Yes. So, the first book is Ash Princess. The second book is Lady Smoke. I think this is going to be a trilogy. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, these covers are beautiful. I've heard a couple people talk about it. Um, Lady Smoke actually just came out like last week. Last week or the week before. Um, so I had to get it. I got both of them. Because <laughs> I'm upset. And that is it. That is the full stack of books. Um, as always, I'd like to know what you guys are currently reading. Uh, what books are you excited to pick up in the near future? I probably shouldn't get any more books. I have so many unread books. It's not even funny. It's ridiculous. Like, everybody's building these TBR, like, uh carts and I'm like how about like a TBR <laughs> full length freaking bookshelf because that's me because I can't stop buying books and now it's gonna be even worse since I'm getting that unplugged book box <laughs> um but yeah that is all of my books make sure you guys have subscribed because I will be doing my wrap up pretty soon my February wrap up and then from there we will be pulling the TBR book out so you want to make want to subscribe and keep an eye out for that so that you know what I'm reading uh, also to a great way to find out what I feel about a book as I'm reading it make sure you watch those vlogs I talk about books all the time in the vlogs how I'm feeling it about these books um, and yeah, that is it. My Goodreads account is down below. All sorts of other goodies and whatnot is down below. Check that out. And uh, thanks, guys, for watching, for sticking with me in this giant book haul. And uh, I will see you guys soon in my next video. Goodbye!